Hey there foodies and fun seekers! Welcome to the ultimate adventure in Buena Park, where delicious eats and exciting experiences collide. It's Michael from Adventure Pro here, and today we're diving headfirst into a mouthwatering journey filled with scrumptious restaurants and unforgettable activities. So if you're ready to tantalize your taste buds and unleash your inner thrill seeker, hit that subscribe button and let's get this Buena Park party started. just flew into sunny beautiful Southern California where we just made it out to Buena Park which is a super fun family friendly destination. We checked into the Double Tree by Hilton and we can't wait to show you all the fun and exciting adventures and local eateries we have planned. Stay tuned as we show all that Buena Park has to offer and why it should be at the top of your travel list. California knows how to party. located here at the source so it's right across from our hotel we're gonna grab some food do a little singing let's go let's go okay guys so the first song is blink 182 What song do you think Ashley just picked next? Let's see. Okay guys, so here at the EKO Karaoke Lounge, you can order food and drinks. Right now, we just got our order of fried shrimp and Japanese pot stickers. from Buena Park where we just made it to the Broken Yolk. We're getting ready to have some delicious breakfast. Guys, so they have six different types of eggs benedict, delicious omelets, and awesome French toast, waffles, you name it. All things breakfast. Let's go. Let's go.
What is up guys? So we just made it to Knott's Berry Farm. Guys, we are so excited to be here. We're here for the world class thrills, shows, attractions, and of course, Snoopy. Okay guys, so our first ride of the day is Ghost Rider here at Knott's Berry Farm. This happens to be one of the longest and fastest wooden roller coasters on the West Coast. Let's go! Welcome to Hang Time, Knott's Berry Farm's newest thrill ride roller coaster. Guys, right now we're about to defy gravity at a 96 degree drop. Let's go! Definitely worth it. Totally worth it. Cheers. 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 And now it's time to try Fireman's Barbecue. So Summer Nights is a fun event that Knott's Berry Farm offers with live music and delicious food. Guys, they also have Instagrammable photo opportunities and family friendly games. Welcome back to The Source, where tonight we have a special dinner plan at Depot. Hey guys, we're so excited. This is supposed to be an authentic Korean hot interactive experience like Shabu Shabu. This is great, heavy, can't hit a baseball, I'm ready. Welcome to Depot, time for Shabu Shabu. So after a long, fun-filled day at Knott's Berry Farm, we've worked up quite the appetite. And the best thing about Depot is it's right across the street from our hotel. And what we're gonna get tonight is Shabu Shabu. The way this works is there's three steps that you choose from. Step one is your choice of meat. Step two is your choice of broth. And lastly, step three is your choice of noodles. So we're about to choose now. Let's see. All right guys, so to start off our dinner, we're gonna have some so do, and we got strawberry flavor. Let's try it. Alright guys, so it's time for Shabu Shabu. Look at this amazing assortment. So we have some wagyu beef up here. We've got some ramen noodles, some fish cakes, and uh, some vegetables that we'll steam. We also have some more vegetables down here, and the vegetables are actually refillable as well.
What is up guys? So we just made it to Ralph B. Clark Park. Guys, this park is huge. There's so much to do, lots of hiking trails, there's tennis courts, there's baseball fields, there's actually a lake in the center of the park, there's volleyball courts. It is awesome, perfect day to spend with your family. So here at the park, there's three hiking trails. There's the Castlewood Trail, there's the Westridge Chevron Trail, and there's the Ralph B. Clark Perimeter Trail, which is what we're on right now. So the first two trails are actually more of a moderate hike, takes a little bit more time. And the last one is the Perimeter Trail. It's a little bit more of an easy hike, but it goes around the whole park. So let's get going. 